Yo, what's up? This is Norris, and I'm back with another monthly makes video for the month of June. Um, the month of June was a little bit better than May because May I had like two items because I had the suit that was so intensive. So I didn't do a suit this month. So I just wanted to just make pieces that were comfortable, a little bit more casual, and something that I could sew up pretty quickly. Um, there's a lot of white I've made, and I think a lot of influence came from my girl because she's doing. Um, DIY collections. Basically, she just takes a color and picks patterns and creates like a little mini collection that looks like everything goes together. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was um, on a rack in the store, you would think it's the same brand. In June, she did white. So that's probably why a lot of that white was influenced this month. So this right here is a lightweight sweater and it's really comfortable. Um, here in LA, it gets a little chilly at night, but not just past week. It's crazy because I make this sweat, lightweight sweater for the cool nights in LA, and then in the same week, it's like 115 degrees and like 97 at night. So when I post this on social media, it was literally burning up in LA. Now, why in the hell did I have to make it this week? But it's really cool. It's off the shoulder. It's a little bit baggier. And I made this from copying a h and um, pink sweater that I recently bought a few months back. Um, I think it was on Mother's Day too. So I liked the sweater so much. Um, I was like, man, I need to recreate this. So I just copied it, created a pattern, and it came out so, so good. Honestly, I didn't realize how much I was going to enjoy um, this particular item because I typically um, lean towards something that's more of a challenge. That's why I work with a lot of plaid all the time. That's why I try to challenge myself with um, details and suits and pants and all that crazy stuff. But it felt really good to sew up something easy. So working with this sweater knit and making this sweater, um, it was a relief to just simply um, do an easy sew but still have something that came out very stylish. Uh, so next is this white t-shirt. Um, this white t-shirt might seem pretty basic, but the design of it is really cool. So um, in Sword Academy Man um, the other month, um, I was teaching a class on how to create your t-shirt from using your basic uh, pattern sloper. Um, creating the extra design and adding ease to sew it up. And as I was working out the project before teaching it, uh, the t-shirt that I made that was just a practice shirt, came out really cool and I, I enjoyed the design of it. So I was like, man, I'm gonna make that one again. So it's basically, I wouldn't call it a crop top, but it's a short, shorter t-shirt than guys normally wear. And it's perfect because when I'm wearing high-waisted pants, it falls a little bit lower than it would on a low-waist pants. And the sleeves are very long, so I was able to roll them up and this, T-shirt right here was the look I did with my white drop crop sweats. So this kind of rolls into my next item, which are um, my wide leg crop drop crop sweatpants. Um, these came out doper than I even expected. It's like it's so cool to have a vision in your head and something that you might see in a magazine or in the storefront. And you're like, man, I want to make something like that. And then you make it. And it's even better than what you saw in the magazine or in the storefront. Um, I enjoyed working with this because it was not a hard, hard sew. Um, like I said, I enjoy a challenge. So it's pretty cool to just relax, sew, um, and do something that's still stylish, but don't necessarily um, need as much skill set and as much focus like uh, trying to sew a plaid or something. Um, so like I was saying, because the shirt is a little bit short, shorter, it worked out perfect with these drop crotch, um, high waisted pants. Um, I end up doing the jawstring with the actual, um, fabric makes it a little bit more bulkier. Um, I did a three inch, um, cuff on here and I cropped them up like I think mid, um, mid calf almost, I think. And the drop crotch is super dropped. I almost can barely walk in them, but um, they're really cool. I might add side pockets, and I also added a patch pocket on the front, and I put my label on the back pocket. And the casing is pretty cool. Um, I did a one-inch elastic on the bottom, one-inch elastic on the top, 
And then I did uh, three eighths of an inch elastic in the middle. Um, and also the jawstring, of course. And these are so cool. I created this pattern by taking the bottom half of our simplicity pattern, I think 8615, the men jumpsuit. So I just basically, from the waist down, I just took the entire um, bottom half and then um, I created a centerpiece for the drop crotch and that was basically it. Um, it's only two seams. You have your out seam, you have your inseam and then the waistband. So it's not very hard to sew at all. And this together created a really cool look. So next is our jumpsuit that we did with Simplicity. I think it's 8615. And like I said, this was the same pattern that we did um, the drop crotch pants. We just took the bottom half of it. But I wanted to do a, like a Dickies inspired jumpsuit. They usually come in like navy. And instead of doing the vintage belts and all that with the jumpsuit, um, I altered it and created a, a casing for elastic in the middle. And I chopped the top off the patch pockets right here. And I made them wide leg and I cropped the bottom, just like I did drop crotch pants. And this jumpsuit is so dope. It just screams um, stylish streetwear. And streetwear is like really in right now. Um, as you know, you got Virgil doing all the streetwear stuff with off-white brand. And then now he's uh, the creative director for the menswear with Louis Vuitton. So um, there's a lot of streetwear um, influence currently right now in the industry. So that's why I, I made this jumpsuit. And I mean, I love it. It's really dope. It's comfortable. As you know me, I love stuff that's real fitted, real slim. I'm actually making the drop crotch pants and making these and all of them being super fly with the, the baggy look. I think I'm gonna start making a little bit more of stuff, a little bit less tight and, and more comfortable with stylish designs that I've been doing. So next I did this um, button-up shirt. This is actually the McCall's um, bowling shirt pattern. I just, I just took all the panels and placed them together to create one piece for the front. And it's so dope. I'm, honestly, this, right, this might be the best um, casual button-up shirt pattern that's out there. Trust me. If you want to have a nice, easy sew button-up shirt for men, you need to get this um, McCall's pattern. You can use the panels for a bowling shirt or you can just tape the panels together and create just a nice shirt like this. Um, it's super easy to sew up. I mean, I've made this shirt so many times and I'm not a, a keep sewing the same kind of pattern kind of guy. Um, I like sewing something and moving on to something else to learn something new. But this right here is like, man, I enjoyed it so much and the fit is perfect. There's no fit modifications Ever when I make this. I, I, I make it um, all the way through. I only have to try it on and I just put it on when I'm finished just to wear it. That's how confident I am in this McCall's pattern. Uh, so next I used our Simplicity um, t-shirt pattern that me and my girl did. It's doing really well. Um, I get a tag a lot because people really enjoy this pattern. So I did it um, I just didn't make any buttonholes or put any buttons on it or snaps. I think I like the openness of the front and I'm just gonna rock it out just like this. And I did another white shirt. I mean, you can never have too many white shirts. Uh, you know, white never stays clean. So um, I made this in white. I can't wait to rock it with just some basic uh, denims and some fly kicks. All right, last but not least, I did this um, cabana set. Um, this is like something that you wear to the beach. You have your swim trunks, and then you have a, a little top that you put on just so you won't be walking around with your shirt off. If you wanna to go to a restaurant um, near the beach or at a pool, at a resort. And when I saw it, I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool. I could, I could use something like that at the beach. But I thought, I was like, I probably would never wear something like that to the beach because um, if I'm at the beach at the pool, I don't want to have a shirt on, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, I'm out in the sun, and I just want to uh, just enjoy the weather without having a top on. 
So I was like, man, I could, lit- I could literally wear that out anywhere. So instead of doing them out of swimwear fabric, um, I did it out more of a polyester, silkish kind of um, fabric. I created pockets, side pockets, because it didn't come with pockets, because I wanted them to be workable. If I'm going to wear some extra shorts out, I need to like at least put my hands in my pocket or something where to put my phone. But I did enjoy this welt pocket that they did here. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm probably going to steal this that design and put it on some of my um, suit pants. Instead of jawstring, I did ribbon on the inside to pull and it just keeps the same aesthetic with the um, silk look. And then the top, the same fabric, um, it just looks a little bit more swaggier in this silky kind of look. I could wear it out, but this is also like a lingerie for a dude. Um, My girl really loves it. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback from women um, on the blog and on social media when I post this look. This is something that you can wear when you and your girl go to like like a resort or at a hotel, or like Valentine's Day, her birthday, you know what I'm saying? You want to you know, so get in the gym for a couple of days and get buffed up and put this on and just kick it around the house with a glass of wine with her. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually wear this out. I might just use it for special occasions. But um, knowing me, I mean, if I see it hanging up, I'm like, man, let me, let me put that on today. So that's basically all the stuff that I made for the month of June. Thanks for watching. If you're a guy, if you're a girl, and you sew menswear, please tag me on Instagram at Norris Dancer Ford. And Dancer is spelled D-A-N-T-A. Be sure to join Sword Academy Men if you want to learn how to sew. I mean, if you like all the stuff I'm doing and you want to get involved and create a new hobby, sign up for Sword Academy. Also, check out my new IGTV channel. Um, I'm going to be putting content on there every Tuesday, I think. And I already have a easy sew along, which is basically making the pocket square. Hold on. I made that too. Hold on. Let me go grab it. All right. So I have no idea what I did with the pocket square, but that was another monthly makes that I did for the IGTV project. All right. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.